Hi, welcome back. Still on chain rule, this is another example. This example uses chain rule wherein our given is inside of a radical. Okay, so the whole expression is found inside the radical. Now, looking back into your lessons in gen math and in your loss of exponents, when you have uh, an expression shown in a radical, it could actually be rewritten uh, as an exponential expression. So let's have a quick review of that. Say you have the cube root of x squared. If you change this to an exponential expression, the exponent of um, the radicand or the expression inside of the radical will be your numerator and the root that you're getting will become your denominator. So the cube root of x squared is going to be written as x raised to two-thirds in terms of exponential expressions. Let's try another one. Say we have the square root of x. This will now be written as x raised to one-half. I wonder why. Well, x here has an exponent of 1, but we do not write it anymore because it's just 1. And then here, it's for simplification. Here, it's the radical or the square root. If it's the square root, then you know that this is actually 2. Therefore, if you write it in exponential expression, it's 1 half. Looking into our given now, looking into our given, this whole expression is actually simply raised to 1. That's why there are no written um, exponents anymore. And then this also do, uh, this radical symbol also do not reflect uh, the root. But it is understood that we are getting the square root. Therefore, if we rewrite this in terms of uh, in terms of exponents or in exponential expression, this now becomes x minus 3 raised to 1 half, which is now easier uh, to solve in terms of your chain rule. Okay, so let's get the formula of chain rule. Y prime is equal to n times u prime times u raised to n minus 1. Again, your exponent is the value for n and then the uh, expression inside of the parenthesis that becomes your u. So our u here is x minus 3. x minus 3. Therefore, what is u prime? Let's identify u prime. x will just be 1 by identity rule. And negative 3 is a constant. And the derivative of constant is just 0. So u prime is just 1. Let's substitute this to the formula. So we have y prime is equal to n, which is 1 half, times u prime, which is 1, times u, x minus 3, raised to 1 half minus 1. We simplify what we could simplify, and we'll get 1 half times x minus 3 raised to negative 1 half. 1 half minus 1 is negative 1 half. Yes, you could use your calculators if you are still confused about that. Okay. Next, we could simplify this further. Although this could be considered one of the correct answers already, this could still be simplified further. It could be written as 1 over 2 times x minus 3 raised to 1 half. Notice what happens to the exponent. Because you placed it in the denominator, you actually change the sign of the exponent. And then this could be simplified further and return it to its original expression in radical. You change now 1 half, the, the expression raised to 1 half to a radical, you'll get 1 over 2 times the square root of x minus 3. Either of these two will be accepted in our class. So that's it for example number two.